Well, last night we had pretty similar uh, accommodations to the night before with uh, a few pads on the floor with some blankets and pillows and uh, with the notable exception of electricity. We had a lot more last night and now we just had uh, some to run the LED lights so there was no charging of batteries or anything. But luckily I have enough batteries for everything. Breakfast this morning was fresh fruit and uh, rice, which rice you get a lot, but uh, fresh fruit here is always great. I think I learned my lesson yesterday and made sure to put sunscreen on very thick and to wear the buff because my neck is already burnt in the back a little bit. Day three trekking has officially started and we've only got a four hour walk today, which I think everybody's happy about. People have blisters and sore feet, sore muscles, so four hours is a lot better than the seven we had yesterday to the lake. We found a giant trail of ants. We stopped for a few minutes at this little stand to buy our entrance fee, which is 12,000 shot into Inland Lake, and you get a five day ticket here. Gives you access to the Inland Lake area for five days. After two and a half days of walking, we can finally see in the lake right there, but we're still three hours walking away. Just a quick stop under the tree for some shade before we head on out. I know, everyone's like literally watching me. Everyone's watching me now. <laughs> So we've stopped off for some tea and to eat the uh, boiled eggs that we got back at the camp today. And whatever this is, peanut brittle or something. They do this when a uh, monk dies. After three days of trekking, we are finally able to stop and enjoy ourselves here at the restaurant and then uh, we take the boat into Inland Lake from here, so we are done trekking. After all of the trekking we've done, we get to have one more lunch and then we get to hit the river and get to the lake. <laughs> it's like free eggs this time. Jejuba! So our first step off the river before we even reach Inland Lake is this uh, silver shop, traditional silver making, I guess. We hit the 
put the hamma in many many times. This is we call the test and stone. We check if it's a real seva or not real seva. So they gave us a nice little demonstration of how they make the silver jewelry. That uh, silver bar that I was holding is worth $720, which uh, for that weight is pretty expensive. It didn't seem very heavy to me. And now we're on our way to see uh, the long neck tribal women of this area. Right now we're taking a little bit of a detour to drop off part of our group at this nice uh, hotel that they're spending quite a bit of money on since it's one of their last nights here. And it's in the middle of the water where uh, all the stuff is connected by little uh, causeways and their rooms are literally above the water. And I'm staying in a hostel today. <laughs> No, no, I was just thinking. So after we dropped the other girls off at their hotel across the lake, uh, it took about an hour to get back here by the boat taxi, but we're now in Nang Shui, which is the main town here in Inwa Lake, and we're gonna go get our luggage, find hostels, and check in for the night. So I will talk to you when we get dinner. For our remaining members of the group, we came to the uh, Everest uh, Nepali restaurant number two here in Inla Lake. There's another one in Kalau that's really good. So we came here to try the Nepalese food here. It is excellent, and this is all I'm going to tell you about this. You should come here and try it yourself. As always, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe below if you think I deserve it and want to see more from my backpacking adventures around the world. Check out my previous videos for inspiration. Ask questions and leave comments below. My social media links are in the description for extra tips and photos. On that note, safe travels and never stop adventuring.